Candyman, a film that has been delayed by the pandemic and has just dropped in theaters. The newest horror film to hit theaters this week. Find out my thoughts next. Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Reviews with Ryan. Today I'm going to be talking about Candyman, the direct sequel. This is directed by Nia DaCosta and stars Nathan Stewart Jarrett, Coleman Domingo, and Yahya Abdul-Mateen II. The film is about a young artist. He's struggling. He's trying to find his ground into making his big break on painting. And he lives in this gentrified area in Chicago. And he kind of is trying to find ideas to make his big break on this painting. This movie is a direct sequel. It takes place a decade after the first film, which was released in 92, I believe. Now I'll start with the positives of this film. The film looks really great. It's shot really well. I think that the leads do a really good job with their role. I was really intrigued with what this young artist was gonna bring to the table. It seemed like they had a decent story or beginning there to kind of set up the full story uh, that was to come. And it definitely kept me interested in that beginning part of the film. The story has some loose ends. I felt that some things were just not expanded enough. I also felt like the film, they had some missed moments where the film could have been a lot uh, creepier and they missed some moments to maybe make it a little bit more scary. I felt overall that the film was not really scary at all. I felt that the character development could have been a lot better for the film. Uh, I also felt like they tackled the issues of racism and police brutality, which is fine, but throughout the film they focus a lot on that and I felt like because they focus so much on that, Candyman, he gets a little bit less focus and there is a little bit less tension with his character really. I'm not really nitpicky about the dialogue for this film, however, there is one scene earlier in the film where somebody ends up getting killed and the guy, the way he kind of responds, it was just kind of really stupid kind of dialogue and it's just not really realistic at all. And also what I felt with the film, you know, it's a slower type of film. However, as it gets close to the third act, it feels very rushed and it feels like they kind of just kind of hit you with the ending all at once. Overall for me, I didn't necessarily hate the film, but I didn't love it either. I didn't really have high expectations going into the film. I actually have never seen any of the Candyman films. And I will note just from going through and surfing around uh, through the internet and such that you do not have to see any of the Candyman's to understand the story. So if you're wondering that, you do not. And like I said, I have not seen any of them. So this is my first kind of introduction to Candyman. So with this film, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. It's just okay for me. I really think that this film could have been a lot better. Uh, as always, I always find some decent things about different films and I definitely found some things I liked in this film. I just felt that it wasn't executed to the fullest. And that's why I can only really give it three out of five stars. If you want to see it in theaters, I would say check it out for the theater experience. I really think that the film should have been a little bit longer, hour and a half. I just didn't feel like the story was stretched out long enough. And it just kind of suffered from the lack of runtime. Sometimes with horror movies, I feel like they just try to like put it in a 90 minute frame and that's what they normally want to do. But I think that this film could have actually uh, helped of it spanning more and definitely it's spanning more with the characters and developing and such. But thank you guys for watching this review. Like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you guys think of this film. Thank you guys for watching.